Now this is the injury report I wanted to see. Yep, the cowboy, Mr. McLean. You Americans are all alike. But this time, John Wayne doesn't walk into the sunset with Grace Kelly. It's Gary Cooper, asshole. <laughs> 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 Trails, Hans. Dallas still stinks. Do by do it, King Dingbat. Here, let me first start off by saying Happy New Year to all you Dingbats out there. Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a great New Year's Eve. Me, I was up to like 4 30 in the morning. I was up late. I was watching Mandalorian Season 2, and all I gotta say. When I got to that final episode, at the very end, I cried like a little bitch. I was crying. It was such a beautiful thing. It was so awesome. It made Last Jedi look like the trash that it was. So if you haven't, definitely check out Mandalorian. Uh, season 1, Season 2, great show. To me, it's saving Star Wars, okay? Just got to say that. Now, today I woke up. I've been, I've been just... Struggling to get going all day. It's just been a slow day. You know, oh, what am I going to do? And then, all of a sudden, we got the Eagles injury report out. And it was like, oh, yes. This, this is what I needed. This is what I needed the Eagles to do. Okay, because look, this is the last preview prediction video of the season for the Eagles. And really, this is the first one I've done since like 2016 that we're playing for nothing. We are playing for literally nothing except a draft spot, okay? If if we lose this game, we could possibly pick uh, as high as three, okay? We could pick third overall. It's not likely, but we could get there, okay? And if we win this game, we could pick as high as 10. I don't want to pick number 10. I want to pick somewhere like four, five, six. Somewhere in that range would be perfect, okay? So, in, in that sense, this is a huge game for the Eagles. And as far as the NFC East goes, Giants are in it, Dallas is in it, and Washington is in it, okay? So, I'm going to tell you what I think is going to happen in this game for the Eagles. Then I'm going to tell you who I think will win this division, okay? Uh, now, here's the good news for the Eagles. The good news for the Eagles is their injury report came out, and there's like nine guys out. Nine guys are not playing, and I'm going to go through the list real quick. Uh, Derek Barnett, he's out. I don't think he's all worth a first-round pick anyways, but he's out. Fletcher Cox, he's out. That's good. That's good. Sean Bradley, he's out. He's placed on IR with a nick. Hope it ain't too serious. Uh, tight end Dallas Goddard, he is out. Best tight end on the team. I think he's better than Zach Ertz this year. Deshaun Jackson, he's out. He's good for like one or two plays a game, and then he's hurt. So he's out again. I mean, he makes a one play, gets hurt. What did he do? Get hurt doing the flip in the end zone? So ridiculous, dude. Now he's out. Jordan Mulata, he's out. Concussion. No surprise there. Duke Riley, he's out. Placed on IR. Richard Rodgers, he is also out. And then the big one, Miles Sanders, is out this game. So the Eagles got nine guys out as far as I'm concerned, okay? I would have everybody out. I'd have Jalen Hurts out. I'd have Carson Wentz out. I would start Sudfeld. You know, Carson could have, Carson could be having, I don't know, his period or something. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, so he can't play. Then, then like, Hurts could have, like, a headache. He's out. And then you have to play Sudfeld. Play the guys that will assure you a loss. That's what I want. That's what I really want, okay? And as far as, as, far as the Redskins, you got McLaurin, Gibson, and Alex Smith are all questionable. I got to think. I got to think all three of them are going to play, okay? And to me, if they play, especially Alex Smith, uh, I think Washington has a good chance to win this game. Um, no question about it. Because I don't I don't think the Eagles, like, from a defensive standpoint, with that secondary, right? You got Jalen Mills. He's on the COVID list. You got a banged up secondary. I think they can pass the ball and throw the ball on the Eagles. I think they can run the ball on the Eagles. And I think they'll be able to move the ball, especially with Alex Smith. Uh, then, on the, the other side of the ball, right, that defense for Washington, great pass rush, 
good pass defense. They're okay against the run. And I think that they should be able to shut them down. The big thing is, can they contain Jalen Hurts or is he going to be able to run the ball? If he can run the ball on them, that could be a problem. Now, knowing how things go with the Eagles, right? Knowing how things go with this team, the Eagles will find a way, if I'm pre predicting this game, the Eagles are going to find a way to win this game. They're going to win this game versus Washington because we don't want them to. That's the only reason. If, if we needed them to beat Washington a hundred times this week to clinch the division, they could never do it. But the fact of the matter is they don't need to win a division. They're out. They're going to win this game. They're going to go and they're going to beat Washington. I think they beat them 23-20. And Washington, they lose their chance at winning the division, which... I mean, this is the year of a team of no name to win this division. This division stinks. It stinks, okay? And the Eagles will do this because it will aggravate me to no end. To no end. The Eagles will pick 10th. Then we'll be going through the draft, right? The Eagles will be picking 10. Number 8. Number 8. All of a sudden, Devontae Smith, the guy that we all want, he will get taken. Or Jamar Chase or Parsons, the guy that we will want. We'll go two spots earlier who would have been there if we lost this game. That's what will happen. That's what will happen. I'm telling you, I think the Eagles are going to win this game. I don't think they should win this game, but I think they will. They got a lot of guys out, but that's always the way things go with us, right? And then they'll try to use it as an excuse in the front office. Well, look how these young guys played last game of the season. We got to give them more time next year, and it'll just be a disaster. We need the Eagles to lose this game. That's the best thing that could happen for this team. Now, as far as I think who's going to win this division, really, it's a crapshoot. you got three stinky teams all fighting for it, okay? They're all fighting for it. I, Like I said, I think the Eagles are going to wind up winning this game. I just think it's going to happen, which means Washington will pretty much be done. They'll be out. Leaving two teams, the New York Giants with Pizzle and Katana, Bad Dog, all waiting, all hoping that their Giants will do something. They consider this really good if they can win a division, right? So you got them, then you got Mark Holmes, M -m 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 Mark Holmes, Michael Anthony. Where's the fitness? I don't know where it is, but you're taking another nap. You got them rooting for the Dallas Cowboys. And I got to tell you, what I think is going to happen is, I think, like I said, the Eagles are going to win, and then it's going to be Giants, Cowboys. Well, I got to tell you, I think the Cowboys are going to beat the Giants. I think when you look at who's playing the best football right now in the division, it's the Dallas Cowboys. Andy Dalton's gotten going. Uh, that offense has gotten going. Uh, Gallup, Cooper, CeeDee Lamb, that passing game's going good. Uh, Zeke Elliott's beginning to play. Defense isn't that great, but they played a lot better last week. And I think the Giants are going to have problems with this team. I think the Dallas Cowboys are going to go to New Jersey, and they're going to beat the Giants, winning this division. They'll get an awful pick. They'll get tossed after. Uh, they'll get tossed round one. Dallas will. We'll enjoy it. We'll laugh at it. And in the meantime, Pizzle will be sitting there laugh with me on the couch. Bad Dog will be on the couch. And Tatana will be on the couch because I got Dallas winning this division. Now, best case scenario for me, Washington goes in, beats us, wins the division. Then Mark, Michael Anthony wears a fitness, Pizzle, and Atena, Bad Dog, they're all on the couch with me watching. That's the best case scenario. But like I said, the Eagles don't do things easy. So I think the Eagles will win this game because they shouldn't. And then uh, I think Dallas wins the division. So with that said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Take care. Talk to you later. I really got dizzy doing that spin. Michael Anthony wears a fitness thing, but it is what it is. Take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.